Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is the actual stream, I promise. But, we're doing more Goku What Ifs. I didn't know what to call it yet. I didn't honestly remember where we left off. It's, it's honestly been a few days for me. But, we have a new controller. We've played, I've played around with it quite a bit. I like it. It's got some nifty little clicks. And I think I've finally Here broken it in to the point where I can use it to a pretty good amount of its full potential. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this, but you have so no So the goal idea here is to beat the living shit out of Cat Rat. It's not Cat Let's Rat. skip the God pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer, and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. There we go, that's way better. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! See, they look about the same distance here, but there are some scenes where it just looks unusually fucking far. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> <laughs> you could trade yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. Yeah. How about this? Come on. You've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. I'm getting fucked. Go. Let's let's retry this. Hold on. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> You could trade yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! Behind you! Come on, really? Let me show you my full strength! Ha, me, ha, you me, fuck. Ha. Where did you hide? If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Yeah. Only problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. Let me show you my full strength. <laughs> Ready to see real strength. 
Come on, please tell me I got that quick enough. Please tell me I got that quick enough. Yes! I don't think he's got the will to fight anymore. Someone who'd want to kill all my friends and family is no brother of mine! Now you better get the hell off this planet! And never come back here again! Go on. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm shaking. You're the poorest excuse for a Saiyan that I've ever seen. Now I'll teach you how a real warrior should act. Say your prayers. What is he? The hell? Special Beam Cannon! <laughs> Bastard! Damn it! Beaten by a filthy <laughs> maggot! That maggot fucked you up. You saved my life, Piccolo. If you hadn't made a perfect shot, I'd be lying on the ground with him. <laughs> well, truth be told, I'd rather you both be dead and on the ground. But your friends would just revive you with the Dragon Balls shortly after anyway. The... the Dragon Balls? Yeah. All seven combined have the power to grant any wish. Even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. Uh, wait! The other two Saiyans! When are they gonna get here? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. Two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. Piccolo trains with Gohan. I want to know how they convinced Chi Chi, though. Gohan, let's you and I do a little sparring. What do you say? Uh, I gotta kill you Gohan. See? With you, Dad? Of course. I mean, you I guess got I got no problem beating up a little kid. Age. We just need to keep up your training. Don't you agree, Piccolo? Oh, sure, but he'd be a lot stronger than that if he wasn't being spoiled so much. Aw, don't be like that. What are you so nervous about? <sighs> Come on, Gohan, buck up! Right. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I'ma beat that ass, boy. Beat that ass. I'm not done yet. That energy looks like they got here earlier than expected. Look out. 
I'll go get some sense of beans from Corrin Tower. Piccolo, keep an eye on him for me. I wasn't done beating his ass. That's a massive energy I'm sensing. It started already, hasn't it? Maybe. Goku! Of course, you must be Kakarot. <laughs> You've got a lot of power. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Goku, let me back you up. Let's clean up this mess in one fell swoop. Yeah. Should I do a humiliation again and just let Yamcha and Krillin take care of this for the most part? Get absolutely demolished. <laughs> <laughs> Really? How are you able to self-destruct and not die? That's what I want to know. Fuck with me, bitch. I'll one-punch KO your ass. Motherfucker just had to go and explode himself. Oh yeah, we saved Tien and Yamcha. I don't know why we Jets. saved Yamcha. Tien needs one of those sensu beans, quick! Uh, right! G Goku! Your fight's with me now! <laughs> Better make it a good one then. I was fucking him up. Fuck you. Oh, bitch. Yeah! Scaredy little bitchy boy, doo da, doo da. Scaredy little bitchy boy, all the doo da day.
I just love how it makes an echo. Ah, I can barely move my body. You puny ants! I need. <sighs> Corlin chucks it. Sensor me! Oh wow! I feel even stronger than I did before. Oh, is that so? Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! <laughs> what a moron! Only thing he changed was the order I'm killing you in! Leave, Gohan! Gohan! Take Piccolo and leave! Get as far away from here as you can! I can't afford to lose you! Dad! Let's do what he says, kiddo. If we head back to Kame House, Bulma should be able to preserve Piccolo's body! Yamcha, make sure Gohan's kept safe! I promise! Don't go dying on me! No Who's promises! I think he is! Waltzing up to me like it's nothing! As I thought, he's grown stronger after having his wounds healed. But how he's recovered so quickly is cause for concern. It might be too late, Goku. Even if Piccolo's body is preserved- I just confused the fuck out of my wife. Sure. You actually heated up all the way this time. Mine was mostly cold. I know. Which means the Dragon Balls would be gone forever, too. No, it's not hopeless. Even if he dies, there's still a way. Uh, a way to do what? Before you guys got here, those aliens referred to Piccolo as a Namekian. I realized something important as a result. I'll explain all the details later, but for now... Yeah, we gotta focus on winning this fight first! Ha! You can save some time and attack all at once! Just another few bodies for the pile! <laughs> Guys! Don't do anything crazy! Right. Damn it! If only Yamcha were here too! Huh? Hey, where did Shamsu go? Just cause you can get back up again, doesn't mean you should! I'm a bat you around like a pinata. All right, let's go. I don't know how exactly he was able to heal up so fast. As I thought, Kakarot's strength has already increased. After all, these Saiyans grow more powerful every time we return from the brink of death. If somehow know that about his heritage. Vegeta, I screwed up. Please help me. We're settling this right here and now! Too bad. Damn. I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. You're dead. Wolf. I was trying to end his bitch ass. Motherfucker. Had to call the damn fight. He's a psycho! He, he... He just killed his own partner for... We have to face facts. This other one is way out of our league. Yeah, Forget so get out of here. Guys. I couldn't use you I anyway. I face off against him one-on-one! -on -one. Goku! I get you. Let him have this, Tien. You said it yourself. He's too strong for us to even be able to lend a hand. Yeah, but... Yo! Let's finish this someplace else! Fine by me makes no difference. <laughs> Rip headphone users.
Tien and Krillin watch as Vegeta and Goku take to the sky. Now. And now it's time for Vegeta's final resting place. about wait a damn second this planet's moon should be visible but i can't see it anywhere you clever snake kakarot you destroyed the moon before i even set foot on the battlefield i did not i said it before i don't even know what you're going on about never mind as luck would have it i come with my own backup source of moonlight your lack of knowledge will be your undoing now watch as my Powerball substitutes as a full moon to spark a transformation beyond your wildest dreams! Transformation? Now you're dead! First open and mix! Come on! Now I'll finish you off for good! I'll vaporize you! <laughs> What the hell's going on here? So, so he's some kind of like great ape monster? Take this! I got you! I'll bring you! Even with your little power, it doesn't change the fact that you're low-class scum. I think it's about time I wrap this up by crushing you with my bare hands. Damn it! Take God, I'll vaporize you! What? How? Oh, thank you, Chaozu. Good thing you had those sensor beans on you. Fucking A. But Tien. Tien and Krillin are dead. I'm still not having trouble Krillin. with Great Ape Vegeta. This is my third time facing him. Why is everyone so salty about Great Ape Vegeta? I don't fucking understand. Oh, gonna revive your friend again? Or have you learned to let the weak stay dead? Maybe now you understand what it means to be a Saiyan, Kakarot. Damn, I'm all out of sense of beans. Well, then it's time for me to conclude this battle, and you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? No. You hurt Krillin. I'll never That's forgive enough. you, best buddy. I 
I don't think we're best buddies anymore. He, he transformed? And he blew up the moon. What are you? You shut your mouth! With Piccolo dead, the Dragon Balls are gone. And Krillin, he's already been killed once and can never be revived again! I will never, ever forgive you for this! You're no longer my best buddy! A magical change of hair color doesn't undo the fact that I bore out Clash! We'll see about that. Oh, now you've suddenly grown a spine. Every word that escapes your mouth infuriates me all the same. I'm not done yet. All right, let's go. Fool! I'm sorry, you were saying? How can I be outclassed by some pathetic reject? Quite easily, I guess. Quite easily. How can I be reduced to this? It's inconceivable! I never want to see you on this planet again! And I shall never forget this humiliation! My, my words, Kakarot. I too will surpass the limits of what a Saiyan can do! Oh, will you? Are you gonna throw a temper tantrum about it, sir? Oh, excuse me. And, Dad, rip headphone users. I'm sorry I can't go with you, but promise me you'll come back with the Dragon Balls so we can wish back Mr. Piccolo and the others. You got it, Gohan. Damn. Wait! Please don't run away! Eek! It's okay! Eek! I'm not gonna eat you or anything! Huh? Eh? Who, who the hell are you? Are you with him? Those must be the Namekian Dragon Balls I saw on my radar! They're way huger than the ones on Earth! If you're after these, then you must be with him! Who's him? What do you mean? Get him! Oh, you want to fight? You should have just said so. Yeah. 
You tore my clothes. You bastards. Whoa! Huh? This energy. Oh. Shit. Wait, why isn't your tail golden? We got a Super Saiyan Vegeta. With Freeze out of the way, my fight is with you now, Kakarot. Now become a Super Saiyan immediately! Uh... What do you think, Kakarot? Now I too can transform into the legendary Super Saiyan! What? <laughs> oh, I see. This little guy's an Amekian. To bring everyone back to life, I have no choice but to take down Vegeta. What are you waiting for? Turn Super Saiyan! Or would you rather just lay down and die? <laughs> Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Indeed. For killing you in this state is the only way to reclaim my honor. I pushed myself to the verge of death to improve my strength. But despite my greatest efforts, I knew deep down that I still hadn't reached your level. But then, out of the endless rage invoked by the humiliation you left me after our last battle, I became a super saiyan and killed Freezer with my own two hands! So I thank you, Kakarot. Well, now that you've achieved this strength, what do you even need the Dragon Balls for? Why bother killing innocent people like the Namekians? Simple, because the universe has no room for the weak. So why don't you join me? Nothing will be out of your grasp. What do you say, Kakarot? I have everything I could ever need, Vegeta. <laughs> I'm not done! I'm not done yet! Got you! Get fucked, Vegeta. Whack. Damn it all. I'm sorry. Even as a Super Saiyan, I'm still inferior to this low-class clown. I have better fighting experience, man. You just go around basically going great ape and smashing people. 
I actually fight hand to hand. Yeah. I'm better. To truly Deal be with a it. Super Saiyan, you've got to be pure of heart, awakened by fury. How That's do you know that? I am. How do you know that? Goku, how do you know this info? Your rage alone helped you reach the transformation, but you still lack what it takes to unlock its real power. If you're taking your leave, you had better finish me off this time. Oh, I'm not killing you. And no, it's not to make you feel any sense of shame. What? It's because I want to fight with you again someday. So the next time you feel ready, you can bet I'll be ready too. Kakarot, you're a true Saiyan after all. Then the next time we cross paths, I'll be stronger. Strong enough to crush you once and for all! <coughs> and so, Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan rematch comes to an end. Our hero looks on as his newfound rival takes his leave of planet Namek. Goku triumphantly returns home to Earth to celebrate with his family and friends. Their world now at peace. Why do as the what ifs Goku get a narrator? What the fuck? Himself, one must wonder how much stronger will he become? Only time and his next challenge will tell. What the fuck? Why does the main story not get that? This is some bullshit. Alright, let's see here. Go back. Up. We did that one. Here goes! Let's go fuck Frieza up again. And again. And again. We don't want the main story. Take this! You have awesome. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. I'm not done yet. Let's Bitch, I'm gonna hit you with it eventually. Oh, woo, woo. There you go. I was gonna say, you might as well just let it hit. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. But if I want to win this fight, my only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. Still in the water. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I am not defeating you with the spirit bomb. Impossible. This can't be happening to me. As cool as the cannon experience is, we're got we're what if hunting. Let's go home. Lucky us, my little spaceship should be able to get us back in just under six days. Uh, Bulma's out there somewhere. I totally forgot. Come on, Krillin, don't freak me out like that. From the look on your face, I thought Freeze had popped back up. Yeah, well, just trust me. He's, uh, got nothing on her when she's ticked off. <laughs> don't make me laugh. My body's already mad enough at me as it is. Planet Namek endured so much strife. But perhaps, at the very least, the Grand Elder and my ancient kinsmen can at last rest peacefully. Huh? How exactly do you know about the Grand Elder? Don't lose hope, Piccolo. Now that you're alive again, we can use the Earth's Dragon Balls to bring everybody else back to life. Exactly! <laughs> and when we get back, I'd like to speak with Kami about giving Vegeta another chance as well. You still want to fight against him, don't you? <laughs> well, I did make him a promise. <laughs> Ouch. Goku and his friends have defeated the evil Emperor What the Frieza. fuck? Along with Bulma, the five of them Another narrated what if? To Earth. <laughs> Here goes. All right, let's go beat up Thel. It started. Pickle. If I use my instant transmission, I might be able to get Piccolo out of there. Thanks, Dad. Please save him. Kai Kai. Gohan, try to sense his energy signal. You're right, I can still feel it. Mr. Piccolo is alive! Barely. Buy us some time. While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here. But be careful. Uh, okay. You're Goku, aren't you? That's funny. How did you get here out of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know. And you to find out. Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. It hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio-extract for me to drink up. Go ahead and try me then, Cell. Oh, Cell, you're about to get fucked up here, homie. Out of my way, Goku. This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. I'm not done yet. Come, come. I'm here, Goku. Let me back you up. Thank you, Tien. Goku, killing you will have to wait. I cannot allow number 17 to be absorbed. 16? You're actually gonna fight too? By my calculations, Cell and I are approximately equal in power. What? Alright, let's go! 
You fool! You I will not allow anyone else to kill Goku. <laughs> you fool! To think the whole Cell Saga would have turned out completely different if he just went and saved Piccolo before Seventeen was absorbed. Listen, your bodies are way too injured to be fighting right now. I'm not going anywhere, so why don't you rest up and we can do this another time? The hell are you talking about? These little scrapes are nothing. We could still take you easy. Yeah, don't throw me any sympathy. I haven't had a scratch. What's that supposed to mean? Well, not naming numbers, but one of us was hogging all the action and ended up with a couple boo-boos. So step aside and let a lady stretch her legs. I'll I'll, yeah, I'll beat whatever. your ass, eighteen. You got any problems? I'll with fuck that, you 16? up. Negative. Good. Glad we're on the same page. Tension, hon. Would you let me take this one on my own? Of course. Just be careful, Goku. I don't want to be careful. I want to go fuck a bitch up. <laughs> hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way! You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one! I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> Don't start getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> I'm not done yet. All right, let's go! <laughs> You've got to be kidding. You fool! Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Wasn't expecting this today. Hey, I told y'all to go get some rest. Y'all chose not to. They were warned. Who's next? Ugh, that's enough. Now my clothes are all dirty. What? You're really far away from this point of view. Wait, you're done? That was so quick. Untouchable right? as I am, I don't get that much of a kick out of fighting. Had enough time to lick your wounds? <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Gotta say, Goku, 
You're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That, and you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. Eh, yeah, Vegeta ain't got shit you on me. You are cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. I've never had more fun. Even with my rubber grips, this is getting hard to hold. My trailer's hot. Only let my guard down for a second, but you're something else. You damn straight. I have achieved victory in battle 200 times. This game hasn't even been out for a month. I swear I'm not a beast. I didn't religiously play Tenkaichi 3, I swear. I think I'm a little burnt out on all the fighting today. Let's get out of here. Come at me, big boy. What's the deal? We going or what? <laughs> what? 16. What got into you all of a sudden? You look pissed. My mission is to kill Goku, and I intend to accomplish it. Dude, chill. I will end your existence, for it is the only purpose of my existence. Everyone and everything else is secondary. Then come at me! Then it's now or never! Useless. I'm not done yet. Share your energy with me. Enough. All right, let's go. I blocked that. What the hell? Fuck you. I blocked that. And 18. Farewell. This is now. Useless. Here it goes! 
We ain't fucking around this time. Sorry, 16. take you out with the spirit bomb can you hold this for me for a second thanks buddy it all comes down to this don't you dare 16 I'm not letting you blow yourself up <sighs> Don't tell me. You have a self-destruct device inside of you as well? I... I told you both before. My sole mission is to kill Goku at any cost. Then why haven't you already? You could wipe this entire island off the map with that explosion. <clears throat> That's enough! You can't beat me in the state you're in now. <laughs> And besides, you don't really seem like a bad guy. He's not. Even if you're He's technically a, a robot, guy. I could feel your intent to kill. But if it really is your mission, why didn't you go for it during the fight with Cell? Instead, you chose to defend your fellow androids, which means... It's simple. There is much wildlife living all around this island. I did not want to obstruct nature with the fallout of our battles. But hear me, Goku. One day I will fulfill my purpose. You took care not to harm any innocent life, animal nor human. I believe you are both good people. I have enjoyed traveling together. Well, who says we can't still keep doing it? Then you know what? Let's have our first stop by the mall. I'm in desperate need of some new, less filthy clothes. <clears throat> it looks like the battle is over. Yep. Goku! Where's Cell? And the androids! And, uh, uh, 18! You, uh, you didn't defeat them all already, did you? Well, I think they'll be back. Huh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Krillin's face. <laughs> I think they'll be back, eh? In the wake of Cell's defeat, the three androids depart. Peace is once again restored. Thanks Why does to every Goku fucking what if friends. get a damn narrator? Someday, what the hell? These powerful artificial humans may show their faces again, but when they do, will they be friend or foe? Or foe. Whatever the outcome. Goku is sure to be stronger than ever, and ready to defend the world. Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe. Those of you on YouTube, make sure you check out the description below for our Twitch and our Discord. Those of you on Twitch, make sure you check out YouTube for anything you may have missed. 
And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.